Hi there, this is Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Homestead software. You can see my user ID and my password are in. I'll click login. On the page that opens up, I'll click edit your site. This is their basic website editor, but in order to see a few more options, I'll click Do More with Site Builder. OK. I'm going to show you a brief tour of some of the basic options. In the upper left, you'll see File, Edit, Format, View, Help. And here are some familiar icons for people who use email and Microsoft Word. New Page, Open, Save, Preview, Text, Image. As you can see, this is my website. This is the front page. Now, let's say that we want to move this title. I'll click on it. A blue box opens up around it. When I put the mouse pointer on it, I get a plus sign with arrows on the end, and I can drag that. See, I can just drag it anywhere. But I'll decide to just leave it there. Now what if I want to change that to a different color or a different font? When I click on it, a menu has opened up over here with font, font size, font color. You can choose bold, italic, and so on. Let's see what that looks like if it's in Arial Black. Okay, after we look at that, what if I decide to change it back to Georgia? I just click the arrow on the box and as you can see I, I have a wide variety of choices and I can use this little scroll bar to go up and down. Okay, what if we want to take the bold away? I come over here and I click that B. You can see the B is not highlighted anymore and the name is not bolded. But after looking at that, it does appear that it looked better as bold, so I come back over and hit bold. Now what if I decide to change that from navy blue to black? I click the down arrow and again, all these colors are available and I use the scroll bar and I could make it red. As you can see it turned red. I could make it black. There it is. But after looking at the choices I decide to stick with navy blue. So I'll scroll down here and there's navy. There we are. Now after I've made the changes on the site I would just click Save and publish and it would be live on the internet. Thank you for watching my video and have fun with your homestead website.